TV programs when the journalist talking to the guest, and also I can still remember the time when I gather with my family members. So I feel quite familiar with this kind of music. Personally, I also take part in this kind of Spring Festival special coverage. So today we come here to bring you the live streaming of the fair in Ningxiang Wei. Now I'm standing at the entrance of the Lingshan Wei Fair. You can see many people are selling flowers here. So it is not just people from Guangdong province selling flowers during Spring Festival. In Shandong province, many people like to sell flowers. It is quite festive for people to bring flowers back home. Please follow me so we can get the full view of the fair. So actually for this kind of fair, it takes around 150 mu in this area. So for each new month, the first and the sixth day, there will be a Lingshan Wei fair. So for today's fair, we have massive amount of people coming here. So people are quite busy preparing for the Spring Festival. So they have to get everything ready before the Spring Festival. So today we could see it's quite bustling here. And today we just want to bring you here to better understand the flavor of the Spring Festival in Qingdao City. In this area, there are many fishing villages around. That's why we could see so many seafood display here. There are many unique things in this fair. So you could see this stall, they're selling the Spring Festival couplets. And also you could see these people are also holding the uh, national flag here. In the past, when they were going out for fishing, uh, they are bringing the national flag together. Also, we could see in these different kind of stalls, these people are also putting up the national flag here. I think this is also a traditional custom in the local area. We arrived here before 8 a.m. And some of the vendors told us that they arrived here around like 4 or 5 a.m. Because at that time it's quite early and people could get the most fresh food here. Now it's around like 10 a.m. and also we could see many people are here, they're shopping. And many people, they are taking the public transportation, they just want to pay a special visit to this Lingshan Wei market. So all of these people just want to experience the vibe of Spring Festival in this fair. Nowadays, many people are shopping online, but I have been thinking, if you always buy products from the internet, maybe you could not feel the people-to-people -people emotions. Just like what you did uh, in your daily life, you may probably order fast food, but it's not the same as you eat at home with your family members. So after we enter the 12 months of the lunar year, every people is busy preparing for the Spring Festival. There are many traditions for the Spring Festival. Every day you have a different task. So just like what you are experiencing here, every day you are doing different things. You are actually counting down for the Spring Festival. This is quite unique. This is actually a rural flavor in these areas. It's quite different from the city center. So that's why we bring you here today to better appreciate the flavor of the Spring Festival in the rural area. So let's look, take a look at this, all of these different stalls. It looks quite messy, but it is in an organized way. In these areas, they are selling clothes. 
When I was young, I remember that during the Spring Festival, my parents bought me brand new clothes, and I can wear it during the Spring Festival. It is also a festive mood for all of us. So nowadays, you can buy clothes anywhere, but actually this is a tradition, especially in the rural areas. So let's take a look at these areas. Actually, all of these clothes is quite cheap, less than 100 RMB. Look at that, it, it is like a hundred meter long Spring Festival couplet. And the size of the couplet is quite large. So look at that big character, Fortune. Actually, the diameter is around one meter for the size of the couplet. However, in the houses of the fishing villages and the rural residents, they have larger houses. Sometimes they will buy this size of the couplet and post it on their house. So you have very good business today, right? And this morning, I saw this character, Fortune. So it's quite large in size. The diameter is around one meter. You can post it on your door. Also, it's quite wide, and some of the couplets, they have like two meters in diameter. And the largest size up to like 55 centimeter. So people would like to post all of these uh, couplets on the front gate. Especially people put them on the door in the rural areas. So it represents good luck and good fortune for the new year. So the fair happening today, so maybe we will have more people coming here. As we are approaching to the Spring Festival, and then we will have fewer people coming here to buy products. So how many couplets you could sell every day? So actually, for people who are buying this kind of um, couplets, they're not buying it. They will say they're actually asking for the fortune. So for example, this one is the figure of the god of fortune. And people would like to bring this kind of couplets back home. They're praying for good fortune for the new year. And some people may sold like 4,000 to 5,000 couplets per day. That is at the most busiest hour.
So I also, also purchased one of these couplets to embrace the good fortune in the new year. Chunier 推了一些小推车而且买年货种类很多有什么特色摔面的制作看起来跟拉面有些相似但其实有所不同在老家那时候so the way they made the hand slip noodle is quite different from the hand stretch noodles. Oh, so the Sundruching
It's just like you're pulling a string. China, that was air in 2018. And every morning I took this trolley and go to the morning fair to buy all the food I need to make the noodles. So today we invite you here to go to the fair together with us. So for this area, they are selling all kinds of staple food. So these people are making steam buns on themselves and sell it to the customers. So what do we need to get to make the noodles? So in this hour, you could see there were so many people here to purchase New Year goods. This represents the atmosphere of the Spring Festival. So here are the stalls for the seafood. Uh, 
个虾二十七一斤吗？一斤是吧？哦，那个头不小，这都。So for this area, we are selling the freshwater fishes. Do you always get this kind of fish? Yes, I will prepare some of the seafood during the spring festival. So all of these areas are stores for the seafood. There are different kinds of fish and the shrimps. So what do you want to get? I will want to buy some fish and also some shrimps. So it is around like 25 RMB per 500 brands. You can see the size of the shrimp is quite big. So in this area, it's actually quite close to the seaside. So that's why you could see so many seafood are displayed here. All right, so Mr. Sun already got some of the shrimp. So you have to be an expert to pick all of those seafood. For example, if you could see the head of the shrimp is getting dark, meaning that it is no longer fresh. And also you could see there are many fishes in the fish market. So all kinds of fish you can find here, the yellow croaker and bull heads, etc. So all of these fish are fresh, they are not frozen fish. And this one is the Spanish mackerel, it's quite famous in Qingdao. And also many people are selling the dry Spanish mackerel here, and people will store this kind of fish for the spring festival. There are many fairs like this in Qingdao, and many of them are selling uh, fresh seafood. As you know, it's quite close to the seaside, that's why we could see a large amount of seafood. So what others do you want to get, Mr. Sun? I would like to buy some fish. So maybe I will pick the yellow croaker.
例子，当地的清枪，清枪，你要注意点，不同的种类的。So on the internet, if you want to buy this kind of shrimp, it is around 35 RMB per 500 brand. And for some of this, shrimp is actually caught locally. So for the whole street, it's selling seafood. So there is a huge demand of seafood in Qingdao. And also, see, you could see the scallop. So this is the sea bass, and the other side, it is the fresh yellow croaker. Also for the sea bass, you can tell it is really fresh. And also in order to make a perfect noodle, I also have to bike pork bones. So are you from Qingdao? No, I'm actually from Yantai, which is very close to Qingdao. You could see they're selling all kinds of fresh seafood here. You can see these vendors, they're actually processing and cook all of these seafood and sea cucumber on site. Nowadays, people would like to buy all of those stuff in the supermarket. Very few people like to visit the fair and the market for the purchase. However, during the Spring Festival, in order to enjoy this kind of atmosphere, people would love to visit the fair to buy some new year goods. 
面看看啊。这种农村的大集啊，就是这样子。它很多地方啊，就是你冷不丁那会看到好多意想不到的一些东西。以前好多城市里边有可能买不着的东西，但这些大集上也会见得到。对对对对。你看这边还是卖春联的，你看这个量是非常大的。你看说五十多个摊位，全是卖春联的。来了，有一个地方了。In this fair, you could see a lot of the unique products that has been displayed here. And this morning, I came here, and some people told me we have to go to some place. Let's take a look. This area is the area to bake the Witten cake. And also they are making the lamb soup using this kind of large port. This is very famous local food snack here. 这个羊汤泡泡饼是非常出名的，是吧？我们打地上的还行，当地上是是吧？大集上的，大集上好，啊、跟他们咱羊汤馆的不一样吗？不知道，他们都说打地上的货，我也来了，我也来了。啊、我看他买的好多东西是吧？啊，咱家馆嘛，特意过来吃一碗啊，烫着看他们有点吃的。So I've been talking to other people. This is quite famous here in Qingdao. So people would like to eat this kind of wheaten cake together with the lamb soup. To the west side of this area, also we have another food fair. Uh, people can buy all kinds of food or breakfast in the fair. So for different cities, they have different customs for the daily de delicacy and also their daily food. This is another place to sell the baked weekend cake. So this is a specially made seafood baked weekend cake. Then also people can buy seafood of themselves and then they can bring all the seafood here to make the customized weekend cake. Look, 
看这一锅已经做好了。这一天的话，能弄多少锅？你知道吗？哎，又没个数，估计。没个数是吧？没有，咱这没法看。有的时候达到二三百个人，这味道很好。中午饭，准备跟同事到时候我们就在这边吃了。不过我们去买一些食材过来了，是吧？哎，可以，可以。你先忙着啊！好嘞。看着就味道就非常香。好嘞。你看，已经开始吃了，有没？其实这些场景的话，只有在一些农村的大集上才会看到。它跟我们去饭店里边，或者是去一些大型的商场里边吃饭是完全不一样的。有些人啊，他们就特意来到这里，开车过来跟朋友一起，把所有的食材买好，不去家里做，就在这里边让师傅给炒好。这也是一个过年的一种氛围吧。来，我们继续往前走。You can only see this kind of things in a rural fair. You cannot see this kind of things in the supermarkets or the city center. That's why many people drive like 20 or 30 kilometers away and come to this Lingshan Wei Fair to experience this kind of spring festival vibe. So this is quite unique because for people coming here, they will buy the ingredients on their own and then they will take the ingredients to different stores and the vendors can help them to process all the kinds of food. So that's the kind of taste that the people are pursuing of. We can only find this in the fair. And winter time, people will change the mat. Especially in North China, people will replace the heatable brick bed. So in the past, they are using the traditional made mat to put it on the bed. 用席子比较少了以后，渐渐的就换成其他材料来替代了，这也是青岛，尤其在海边的这种居民的一种生活的一种方式，也是换跟换衣服、换换新衣服一样，过年的时候换一身、换一个新的席子是吧？对对对。啊，现在住到楼上以后就换的就比较少一些了是吧？呃，住楼上现在基本上就常用不上这个。用不上这东西的，所以在一些农村的地区还是。所以说也是在这种农村的大集上才会看到，只有在农村大集上能看到，是吧？好嘞，我们继续往前走吧。Just like people would like to change new clothes during the new year, and for each household, they would like to change the mat for their bed. In the city area, people do not use this kind of mat anymore, but in the rural areas, there's still a tradition. And also you can see the popcorns here. All of these are made on site. So people would like to buy this kind of snacks back home after they returned from the fair. So you could see all kinds of different snacks everywhere in the fair. If you do not have breakfast, you can visit the fair. As I tell all of you that the size of the fair is quite large, it is around 
150 mu. So at around 10 a.m., you can already see a large amount of people are visiting here. And in the peak hours, I was told that around like 50,000 to 60,000 visitors coming here. And in these areas, they're selling some groceries. So some van uh, these vendors who are selling products here, they're actually not businessmen. So these people may, may be local residents. And some people, they grow some um, fruits, and then they will bring the fruits and the harvest back to the market. And actually, that is the concept of the fair. It is not just exist uh, in China, in, in European countries. We also see this kind of agriculture fair. Uh, you just said you want to buy some pork bones, so we have to find some high quality bones. We have to buy the most uh, fresh pork bones to make the soup. So in this area, they're selling the steam buns. So let's take a look on the bun. Actually, it's quite chewy and uh, quite tough. So this is the what we call the iron pot steam bun. It's quite chewy. One RMB for each one of them. And many people would like to buy some of the steam bun back home. Let's take a look at this doll. This is the sweetened fruit and sweetened balls, that's what we call in Qingdao. It also represents unity. And for Qingdao, people love this kind of snack. I still remember in one year, there's a special place organized a fair to sell all of these kinds of candy fruit. Because the history of eating candy fruits in Qingdao can be dated back to like hundreds of years ago. Especially during Spring Festival, people like to visit the fair of candy fruit. So after you eat a couple of candy fruits, then you are completing the Spring Festival. You can see all of these snacks are made on site. You can only get this kind of uh, fresh snack on a fair. So in this area, you can buy some pork bones.
So this is bone that you would be using to make the bone soup. So how many bones you have to purchase every day? Well, as actually every day I have to purchase like tens of kilograms of bones to make the bone soup. So 205 RMB for all of those bones. And actually uh, the vendor can help you to chop all of those bones. So for all of those bones, you can actually use it within one day. So everything is ready for your noodle soup. So nowadays we can actually can feel the price is going up for pork, so fewer people buy pork. So for the vendors, they also hope the price can go down, so many people would like to buy this kind of meat and pork. And you can see Mr. Sun each time when he visited the fair, he will take a trolley and will put all of those ingredients back into the ingredient back into the trolley. So he have to make all of these purchases on his own. I just have to make sure that all of these ingredients are fresh. Now we have arrived at the place and you could see the vendors are making the candied fruit. As I've just said, the candied fruit balls are very famous in Qingdao, especially during the Spring Festival. But they are using different kinds of fruit to make these candy fruit balls. If you visit Qingdao, you have to have a taste of the candied fruit. I can tell you're preparing for the sugars and the candies. So what is the ratio? And how many sugar you will put into the source? Like two large spoon of sugar and one portion of water. And it takes around like 10 minutes to complete the source. So maybe we can buy a few to have a taste.
，我之前的时候去过专门的糖球铺，他们就专门做这种糖球的，是吧？有各种食材的，除了这些水果。So for this candy fruit is quite crispy. 海参，我看还有还有红烧肉的，是吧？对对对，各种各样的。So if you visit Qingdao, you have to taste the candy fruit. I used to visit the fair for the candy fruit. They use all kinds of ingredients uh, to make the candy fruit. I remember some people were using sea cucumber, sea cucumber and also used the pork belly to make the candied fruit. So this is a local snack for the Spring Festival. If you visit Qingdao, just remember to have a taste of that. So for this young lady, she's actually the elder daughter of Mr. Sun. So this time I take her here just to experience the Spring Festival vibe. I remember when I was young, when I visited some of these agricultural fairs, my parents would always bought me the candy fruit. It's quite delicious. And also you could see it in the Lingshan Wei Fair, there were many areas, many stalls, they're selling snacks. Like so usually for this kind of fair, it will last for a really long time, starting from 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning. And it will close at around like 5 p.m. in the afternoon. So it's around like 12 hours for the fair. I can see there are so many food here, you can get everything you want in this fair. And some people, they're actually traveling from different areas to to the Lingshan Wei Fair just to experience the atmosphere of Spring Festival. Some of them are actually driving for hours. So basically at this time around we have the most number of people here in the fair. 
，哎，不造假下蛋，哎，不造假，哎，吃了以后几次以后就变成熟人了，哎，是吧？所以过年也是这样子，买一些年货。So if you personally visit the fair,、uh, you can actually feel the people-to-people -people connection. It's not just about the bargaining. You can see other people; they're trying to experience this kind of festive mood in this fair. And today we bring you to the Lingshan Wei Fair, and I just want to share some of the customs for the local people, how they spend the Spring Festival. So for people who are not able to go back to their hometown, maybe you can visit、uh, some of the fair, and you can actually buy food and ingredients from the fair and prepare yourself a New Year dinner. 所以他们来到青岛的海边，其实就是不仅是想跟这些朋友一起感谢，更主要的想跟大家感受一下以前小时候或者。So they came here around like 10 a.m., but the kids, they're ready fall asleep. 像我们小时候吧，一一到过年，为什么？只有过年的时候才有新衣服穿，才有好东西吃。We talk about lot about the Lingshan Wei Fair, and today we just want to bring you the experience of Spring Festival back into the old days. Even though you can buy all of this stuff in the supermarket, for example, you can even buy the candy fruit in the supermarket. But I just want to tell you that this kind of atmosphere is quite unique and treasures. Especially when, in the younger age, we can only get new clothes during the Spring Festival. And we always want to choose a clothes with large pockets because larger pockets can get more sweets. If you want to find back the mood of the Spring Festival, you can visit a rural fair. And nowadays, you have some like self-service supermarkets. You don't have to talk to people to buy stuff, and you scan a QR code, and you complete the transaction. So there's no communication between people. But if you come to this fair, you can strengthen this kind of like emotions attachment.